inside. Rodriguez dangling the ball in his arm down to the right side. Comes set. The right-handed hitting Griffin is in, and the pitch on the way. Missed it outside, a three-quarter sidearm delivery, and the ball scooted across the plate toward the outside corner. Slightly open stance for Griffin. Runner leading it second. That's Torres. Strike on the outside edge. One and one. Torres doubled with one out in this frame. The only hit so far for Burlington. Doubled over the head of the center fielder, Marty Kostic. Burlington trying to get on the board for the first time. A base hit might do it. Pierski flashes the sign. Rodriguez checks the runner and the 1-1 missed outside. Defensive players pacing around the infield. Rodriguez taking a moment back behind the mound, wipes his brow. And now Papierski's going to jog out there and chat with him. There's some milling around in the Bandits' bullpen. Nobody's throwing quite yet. I think the hope would be that Leovani, the way he's thrown, can get you through the fourth and the fifth. That would make him eligible to pick up a win. Leovani has lost a couple of wins already this year, having to come out before five full innings. Prefer not to do it again. 2-1 pitch. Way outside and just above the dirt where it's backhanded by Papierski. He's now behind Spencer Griffin, 3-1. and one, And the catcher, Tyner Pena, is waiting on deck. The pitch on the way. And it paints the knees on the outside edge. Griffin was ready to head down to first. And he was called back by Lance Seilhammer. So payoff pitch is coming. Torres at second, the only runner. Nobody will be on the move here. Chest high set and a payoff pitch from Leovani on the way. Called strike three on the outside corner at the knees. Griffin again thought it was ball four. But it is rung up his strike three, and for the third time in four innings, Rodriguez strikes out the side. He's up to 10 in the game. 